Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Okay, this is a eBay RS spoiler that I purchased for around a hundred dollars and you definitely get what you pay for for a hundred dollars. This is how it came in. I mean, this is how the edges are. Absolutely terrible. I mean, just terrible. I mean, they feel like crap. There's a pinhole over here. I've been trying to sand this side down just to smooth it out, but I mean, this thing looks absolutely terrible. I mean, look at this edge. I mean, look at how bad this edge is. I mean, who made this? I mean, it's not even straight. I'm gonna have to sand that down with sandpaper because it looks so bad. I mean, I guess you get what you pay for with a $100 spoiler, but I mean, look at, I mean, who who makes this? I mean, there's gonna have to be so much body work to be done to this to make it fit correctly. To me, it's just not even worth it, but I guess this is what you get for a hundred bucks. So I'm even more scared to see how it's gonna fit because all the edges look like trash. I mean, I think this whole thing, that's why I got it sitting on the trash can because that's pretty much where it belongs. But we'll see what it looks like when I get done with it. It's nothing I can't fix, but if it doesn't fit right, I can't fix that. So we'll see. Looks like complete garbage for a hundred bucks, but we'll see what happens. Well, here's after painting it. Still looks like nastiness, but I guess it looks a hundred times better. I did a bunch of work on it and tried to make it look as good as I possibly could and presentable with primer. So this is kind of the, you know, after two hours of sanding and cleaning and trying to fix all the edges and do all that, it needs a lot more work. There's still like pits and all kinds of stuff in it, but I guess it looks a lot better than it did. My only fear is when I go to fit it, what's it gonna look like then? So I'm gonna try to fit it before I do anything else with it. All right, this is the stock ST spoiler. Sorry it's so dirty. Sorry about the lighting in here, it's a little dark. But we're gonna take this out. We're gonna put this aftermarket one we purchased off eBay. I've been working on a little bit. And I just wanna see if it's gonna fit. That's my main concern. I'm gonna start by taking off these plastic pieces right here. Just by pulling up on those, same way over here. I'm just gonna start taking all those off. I'm gonna start by taking off these panels right here. All the plastic pieces. We're gonna take all those off. Mine is weird, it does have this over here, but on this side it does not have it. It might have been wrecked or broke or something, I'm not quite sure. So I just took these plastic pieces off, and there's one, two, one missing. 
this fell out, out from underneath my plastic. I'm thinking this car was wrecked or damaged before and there's so many things I'm noticing that are really weird, especially with that was missing. I knew something was up when that was missing, but this has kind of got me a little scared of how much stuff has happened to this vehicle I don't know about. So all of these three right here are eight millimeters. All This one was falling out. This one was loose. This one was loose. Then over here, we've got two T20s. I'm gonna take those out on both sides. Taking all the bolts off, and then I popped all these pop pieces right here. And now I gotta take the LED light out. So I installed, there's one screw, two, and then three. Those are all the hardware basically that came with the wing besides these two on each side here. It came with its own hardware. Now the stock mounting hardware worked with it. Um, the only hardware that I did reuse was these right here, which was the Torx. But I don't know how I feel about this wing. If it's really weird, I don't know, it's weird. It fits around there really well, but like around here, it fits really weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. It does it exactly the same way on both sides. Up there, it looks really nice. But right here is my major concern, but it doesn't look terrible, but I guess you get what you pay for. I just don't. I don't like how it sits down right here. I'm not a big fan of that. The other wing, I don't believe did, I don't think it did that, but I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look the worst I've ever seen, but I'm definitely not impressed with eBay's quality for 130, 140 bucks, but it definitely doesn't look the worst I've ever seen. I'll say that much, but that's what it looks like so far.